identify, say, three to five markers that are not part of a standard panel that you wish everybody had access to or that you wish could be part of a standard panel? Definitely a fasted insulin. I think this is one of the most important markers that we can look at that has an impact on your hormones, has an impact on your brain, has an impact on preventing disease. A little bit of a head scratcher about why this is not part of the standard panel, but I think this is a really important one and I find dysfunction in this number pretty much every time I look at it. I also love the HSCRP. So this is again, partially because I work in functional medicine and I'm seeing people that are dealing with chronic fatigue or brain fog. It helps me understand there is something that I need to look for that is driving inflammation. And the most common things that I see is some kind of gut dysbiosis or kind of imbalance. So that could be, you know, someone's got actually like elevated levels of inflammatory bugs that are sending signals to their brain that are causing fatigue. It could also be stress. Interestingly, vitamin D is not a classic marker anymore. It used to be done a little bit more frequently, and now there are many insurance companies that don't even cover for you to get a vitamin D. But vitamin D is integral for your hormone health, for your brain health. If you want to be engaged in your health, in this like very proactive way that having more information is actually quite useful.